Hi, welcome to Tech Adventure. So today we're back with the Flip 3 5G. Um, so I, as you saw in the first unboxing screen, was in awe of this device um, that I have behold in front of me. Uh, and I'm gonna continue that with today um, because uh, I'm just gonna go the beginning and say this is actually a really, really nice phone to use. Uh, but there are some drawbacks, of course, and there are some good things. We're going to always start with the bad things. That way we get those out of the way. And the first thing is, so this small screen uh, is very useful. But if you tap it once, it doesn't do anything. If you tap it twice, it finally turns on. Now, if you do lift this, the phone sometimes, it will just display the time and not actually turn on the whole screen and use it. So it kind of negates the fact that you still have to double tap it. But you do have to double tap it to open it up or to you know make it show so you can actually use the screen because if you don't and it's just showing that time you won't be able to swipe side to side to like your you know widgets over here and then your notifications on that side but I mean that's something you can just live with because it is I mean it's not a bad cover screen unlike the first foot flip uh, there isn't a two they did skip the two just so it could be with the fold three so both of them are threes uh, but you know that's up to them now, another thing is with this front screen, while we're still at it, if you do decide to go all the way to the end so you can actually add a widget, um, you can only do presets. Now, right now it is locked, so it won't let me add those, but you can only do presets that they have had added for you. You can't actually do anything that you want or like add something that you already have. Pretty sure that might change when apps like, um, you know, you know this thing exists or at least like want to make something for it then you could probably add the widget to it. But right now, those are the only presets you can add, which is a little bit annoying, but that's okay. We'll get to it maybe with the four or maybe you know, with a software update on this one. Now, another thing is, yes, it is pretty small when it's folded. Now, if you do get a phone that's pretty small, it won't be this thick. So in that sense, yes, uh, this would be a little bit worse than just buying an, uh, you know, a smaller phone. But I still think this is pocketable. I don't like see um, why anyone would uh, shy away from that. It is thick though, I will have to mention. It's about, um, you know, one of your slats of your, you know, finger there. I don't know, I don't know how you would say that, but th that is how thick it is now. I also have thick fingers, so that was, we're just gonna gloss over that. We, we're not gonna care about that anymore. Now, while it's still in its folded state, let's also talk about these cameras right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it, but, uh, so the, you ha you do only get two cameras, unfortunately, unlike the, fo uh, the fold, uh, you get three, but the, you do get a wide angle and a regular one. Now, these cameras, I'm not gonna say they're bad, but in low light, they are not the best. Uh, you still can get okay low light photos, but nowhere near what the iPhone can do right now, or the 12, I haven't tried the 13 yet, uh, but the, the cameras are okay in regular light, or they're good in regular light, but in low light, yeah, they're, they're not the best, um, but, I mean, that's why they give you that flashlight there that you can use uh, if it can't get a good um, low-light photo. So, that's okay. We're going we're gonna to move on from there as well uh, because there is a lot of good things on this phone. And I want to get over the bad things first. Now, you do not get wire reverse wireless charging. You do get wireless charging, but not reverse. Uh, now, I'm going to take that to saying that the battery might be too tiny for that, uh, as well as you you would need a lot of power to actually give uh, out, especially from a phone, so they probably just didn't decide to do that for the sake of the phone, not for the sake of not giving you that feature, as well as uh, the battery life for this. So let's talk about that. Yes, it's a small phone uh, and you do get the portability, but I will say by the end of the day, you will either be dead or it will need to be charged right away. Because most of the times when I did heavily use it, now I don't want to say I'm the most heavily used user friendly on a phone, but I will end the day with like 15%. Uh, the lowest I got it to was like 7%, and that was because I accidentally left the um, hotspot turned on. But that just goes to show like if you are using this phone to the full potential or like all day, every day, the whole time texting, calling, watching videos, doing all that, you will, it will be dead by the end of the day. Uh, you will not have any extra battery life there, but uh, as well as the um, 
that's what like the reverse wireless charging issue I was talking about is because of that. Cause I mean, if you did have reverse wireless charging, you'd probably be completely dead before the end of the day. Okay, so the speaker on this one, uh, unlike the Fold, um, at full blast, it's actually pretty loud for how small this thing is. Uh, but as soon as you go f down one from full blast, it's for some reason there's like a giant leap. Now, after that as well, the increments are normal, but it's just like that initial from full blast to one down is just like this weird, uh, like it's, it just like drops down really, really weirdly, like a lot. Uh, but the rest of it is small increments and that's that's okay, but you have that little weird part there. Now, same thing with the fold. You can't use this very well with one hand. Uh, you can try, like I said, you can try and open it in my first video, but you might accidentally scratch the interior screen. Now, I also showed that you can close it one-handed, so you can do that, but I wouldn't recommend using it with one hand when you're actually, you know, trying to text or anything like that. Now, if you do open it up and it's already open, by all means, use it with one hand because it will, it's actually really easy. It's really, it's really narrow as well. But while we have it open now, so a lot of people talk about the crease. Let's, let's not kid ourselves. It is there and you can feel it. Uh, but that is one annoying thing. Now I did notice once you actually got used to it or you're looking straight at it and not at an angle or with all these lights or, you know, if you were in the sun, it is not as noticeable as you think, um, but it is there and you do feel it. So I do have to say that is kind of one drawback about it. Now, uh, because of this crease, you obviously can fold it though. So there's that plus there. Now, I do want to talk about the good things now. And the first one is the camera. So yes, I did say it's bad at low light, but who takes that much? low light photos. Uh, most of the photos are even being taken at like um, weddings, you know, graduations, so uh, something you celebrate, which will have a lot of light. And that camera is actually really good, but the camera on the inside isn't the best. It also has a foggy tint to it. I don't know if it's because it's under a plastic screen uh, or not, but you know, that that's okay. You can use this one as a selfie. And that brings me to my favorite feature about this little screen. Now, not only because you can use it for notification. Okay, so the speaker on this one, uh, unlike the Fold, um, at full blast, it's actually pretty loud for how small this thing is. Uh, but as soon as you go f down one from full blast, it's for some reason there's like a giant leap. Now, after that as well, the increments are normal, but it's just like that initial from full blast to one down is just like, this weird, uh, like it's, it just like drops down really, really weirdly, like a lot. Uh, but the rest of it is small increments and that's, that's okay. But you have that little weird part there. Now, same thing with the fold. You can't use this very well with one hand. Uh, you can try, like I said, you can try and open it in my first video, but you might accidentally scratch the interior screen. Now, I also showed that you can close it one handed, so you can do that, but I wouldn't recommend using it with one hand when you're actually, you know, trying to text or anything like that. Now, if you do open it up and it's already open, by all means, use it with one hand because it will, it's actually really easy. It's really, it's really narrow as well. But while we have it open now, so a lot of people talk about the crease. Let's, let's not kid ourselves. It is there and you can feel it. Uh, but that is one annoying thing. Now, I did notice once you actually got used to it, or you're looking straight at it and not at an angle or with all these lights or, you know, if you were in the sun, it is not as noticeable as you think. Um, but it is there and you do feel it. So I do have to say that is kind of one drawback about it. Now, uh, because of this crease, you obviously can fold it though. So there's that plus there. Now, I do want to talk about the good things now. And the first one is the camera. So yes, I did say it's bad at low light, but who takes that much low light photos? Uh, most of the photos are even being taken at like um, weddings, you know, graduations. So uh, something you celebrate, which will have a lot of light. And that camera is actually really good, but the camera on the inside isn't the best. It also has a foggy tint to it. I don't know if it's because it's under a plastic screen uh, or not, but you know, that that's okay, you can 
use this one as a selfie. And that brings me to my favorite feature about this little screen. Now, not only because you can use it for notification, but you can also use it for selfie. So if you double click the lock button, you open up the camera and you have it here. Now, right now it's on the regular one, as you see, I'll block it there. Uh, but you also can take a picture if you put your hand up like that, it'll take a picture. As well as if you tap the screen, it will also take a picture. But that is one of my favorite features about it. Now, if you swipe up, it will go to the wide angle, as you see my hand there on the wide angle. And it's actually a pretty big wide angle. Also notice that as well. And now you can also do videos. So if you swipe left or right, whichever one, it goes to video. Now actually, I don't know if it will start the video. Oh, it will, there you go. And then it will start and you can do it like that. And you never have to open it up. Uh, and now you might think, hey, the screen is uh, really small. How is it gonna look on the main screen? It actually looks pretty normal. You don't have to worry about that, but that is something that is really cool about this screen. Now, talking about still the cameras, uh, this does remind me, like I said in the oh, in the first video, in the unboxing, uh, almost like the iPhone 11, just with no, uh, you know, glass bump there with the cameras. But this does have barely a camera bump, so I don't know if the camera will capture it. There is a bump, but barely there, and that is amazing because if you put it this way or this way, it won't matter as there is no bump there, as well as if they did make it a bump next to this screen that you're using, it would really get annoying. Now, while it's in its folded state, as I showed you also in the first video, it is very small. It's very portable, very nice. Um, you know, it's it's pocketable, palmable, if you, if you, if you, wanna, if you wanna say it, palmable, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that is something that is, if you, you know, get this phone, that's what you're gonna get it for is the portability-ness of it. I don't know if that's a word. Uh, I just made it a word. Uh, now, another thing is the water resistance. Now, as much as the Fold has the water resistance, this one does too. Yes, it's a freaking flippable phone, not foldable, flippable phone that uh, is water resistant. I actually don't think any of the flippable phones or the flip phones back in the day were actually had any water resistance. So we're going somewhere with this one. Yes, the screens on the inside weren't as sensitive, but let's, Try and gloss over that and look at the good things because that's where we're at right now. Now, typing on this is actually pretty normal. I'm going to show you here. Uh, not unlike the Fold, um, that front screen is really, really small. Uh, but if you go to your keyboard here, took me a while, it does look normal. Now, this is a narrower phone than uh, most phones, but it is longer. So you do get more screen there. Uh, but it, texting on it is actually not that bad. You still, you know, it feels normal. You'll, you know, get hit the right keys and stuff like that. Uh, but I do want to talk about the autocorrect on this thing. Uh, I, it's, it's not a bad thing. It's just, it does not like cuss words. It, it will not let you type it unless you physically check mark it and say you want to use this word. Uh, but that's just something funny there. Uh, now also the phone actually feels really premium. Uh, so if you ever felt a Samsung uh, back in the day, it was all plastic and it was all, you know, it, you could tell they were saving or budget cuts was, was done somewhere. In this one, it, I don't think, it doesn't feel like it. It's pretty heavy. It has metal on the side, has glass on the back, frosted glass, just like uh, the iPhone 12 Pros and 13 Pros, as well as the 11 Pros. Uh, and then it has glass on the front as well. And this is also metal. So you do actually feel kind of heft. It's not too light, but it's not too heavy either, uh, which I also liked for portability. Like I said, it does. Now, the cover display, I did also say it's bad for the widget issue, but it makes up a lot because you can do a lot on here, unlike the first one where it had like a tiny screen. Like I said, you can see your notifications on this side. You can change. Now you can change this. You don't have to have it animals. I just have it animals because it was my favorite one. Uh, so your notifications there and you can see all of them. You can even clear them. You can't unfortunately answer any of them from here, uh, but it does if you press it, it tells you to open it. You also get your music your timer if you want. Now you can actually preset this timer, which is really cool. So it doesn't also, it starts at 10 minutes, but it doesn't stay at 30. I had to change that. You also get the weather there as well as if you have a set alarm. And what's really cool is it will tell you how many hours and minutes you have left uh, before, um, you know, the timer goes off. Uh, now, another good thing is this screen is actually amazing for a plastic screen. And I said that about the Fold as well. Uh, this is a really good screen. It is 120 hertz, so the, the fact that they can do that on a phone that folds or, you know, a screen that folds 
yes, they say it has a little bit of glass in it, but um, that glass is really hard to find. And if you ever watch Jerry Rig Everything, uh, he like rips it apart and you can tell there's a little bit of it because it kind of like has that pieces of glass when you shatter it. So technically they do have it on there. Now, something about opening a flip of a phone. And uh, if you've ever used a flip phone in the older, in the old days, not older days, uh, you will know what I mean. But something about just opening and closing a phone, especially when you're on a phone call and you're, you just, you know, you're mad at this person. You're like, you know what? I don't want to talk to you anymore just close it. it it feels like you did something it feels like you're doing something you know it just you it's 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 like i know it's a gimmick but it's really nice it's really nice as well as hanging up and on someone like that it's just <laughs> it's just something that's cool uh i really wish they uh continue to bring this back it would be really cool to see flip phones come back um in style yes the razor came out before this but that wasn't the greatest phone so we're gonna gloss over that one as well now um what is really cool about closing it in someone's face is also when you're on the phone call, before you get mad at them, normally you would talk on the phone like this with it straight. But I found out since it's a flip phone and most flip phones back then were anyways opened to the max of this, you can actually do that. So you can call someone, have it like this and it looks pretty cool. Um, yeah. And then you can also keep it like that if you want to flip it on the other side uh, and stuff like that. Now, uh, let's ignore all that stuff about the folding and all that and go to something I really liked about it is the two I talked about it in the fold two is where you have two unlock features so you have the fingerprint sensor as well as the face recognition not face ID uh, so don't get it mixed up because face ID is more actually more secure because it measures the depth of your face uh, while this one just kind of sees your face and unlocks it doesn't actually work with sunglasses so yeah that uh, sucks um, face ID does but we're not talking about Face ID right now, we're talking about this phone. Uh, and then you also get the vibrating while typing, like I said with the Fold, I really like that as well, so we're not gonna talk too much about that. Now by now, everyone knows what Samsung Pay is and how it works. It kinda tricks the um, like the cashier register or the card reader into thinking you're actually swiping a card. Uh, now in the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2, I talked about how if you turned on or you did um, uh, Samsung Pay, uh, you can hear the little thing on the back. And these two are, I guess, this one and the fold now. Uh, they doesn't, doesn't, doesn't seem to sound, you know, that loud. Uh, I didn't hear it at all, but it's probably still there because it, you know, that's how Samsung Pay works. Now, another cool thing is when it is closed, you can't actually do Samsung Pay. So if you swipe up like that, there you go. And then you just do your fingerprint. So I don't actually know if this fingerprint is saved. I don't think it is, so... There it is, and then you're ready. It gives you 30 seconds to just tap it or um, you know, put it where the card reader is and it will work. Then you press back when you're done or it will say transaction complete, which is really cool. Now, I, I, don't, I wouldn't say this is a good thing. I would say this is a, a gimmick, a funny thing, something you can just you know, show off to your friends is, you know those curved screens when they first came out? The TV, the Samsung made, or you know, the, um, the curved, um, this monitor that people got for their computers. Well, guess what? You have a curved screen in your pocket. So like you're watching a video, you can curve that screen. You can, yeah, yeah, you go. You go, girl or guy, whoever, whoever has the phone. Yeah, you just, there you go. And it's just curved screen. You don't have to pay that $5,000 for the curved TV or the curved monitor. You just have it in your pocket. And this is actually, so this one's $9.99 for the 128 and then uh, 1199 for the 256 Now, if you pre-ordered it like I did and you were smart, you got it for $9.99, even if you got the 256 So I know it's pointless to tell you that now since you can't pre-order it, but yeah. Now, uh, same thing, like I said, with the uh, flip or the fold, I mean, if you actually turn on the flashlight here and you keep it like this, you get a flashlight that holds itself or same thing with the camera. If you want to use it with the camera, you can just, you know, adjust it how you want to do it. Put the flashlight like that, you know, just something cool like that as well. And as well as the screenshot, um, this one works a lot better as you'll see than the uh, fold, especially on the interior screen. But if you swipe your palm like this, it takes a screenshot. You see how easy that is? Now, uh, you cannot take a screenshot on the exterior one, or at least I don't think you can. Yeah, 
I've tried it before, it doesn't work, but I, I was just gonna try it again just to show you guys. But the flashlight is still on. But yeah, that is pretty much all the good things about it. Now, would I recommend this phone? Heck yeah. This phone was amazing. I love this. The whole time I was using it, I, I couldn't stop, you know, folding it just for fun. Uh, I, it's, it's, a, it's something that catches people's eyes. Most people don't know about it yet. Uh, yes, the, this one had more commercials than I've ever seen for the fold or flip or anything of that nature. Um, but it still catches people's eyes. People ask you what it is, uh, especially if you pull it out like this and you're using the cover screen or you're using it to pay, uh, they're just like, what is that? What are you, what are you doing? What is, is that your wallet? Is why, why is it so small? But yeah, so I would definitely recommend it. If you are looking to either switch to Android or Samsung, or if you're actually just looking for another cool phone, um, I would recommend it. I, I wouldn't even, I don't even know why you wouldn't get this if you're looking for another phone. Um, it's, you get all of everything you can get. Yes, the night mode, not, but, Everything else is pretty good on it, and if you don't want to spend too much above like one thousand dollars, I just go ahead, go ahead, buy it. I don't see why not. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. You have a great day or night whenever you're watching this.